turned in motion from Los Angeles to take his fantasy league startup to the next level. Let's welcome Dan on the stage with a big standing ovation. My name is Daniel Young, and I'm a reality TV addict. On Mondays, I watch The Bachelorette. On Tuesdays, it's RuPaul's Drag Race. On Wednesdays, I watch The Voice. On Thursdays, I keep up with the Kardashians. And on Fridays, I check in with my housewives. And on Saturdays, I binge on sports and play in fantasy leagues with my friends. But I have a confession to make. I came in dead last in my office bracket pool this year. And in last year's fantasy football draft, I picked Geno Smith, number one. <laughs> but you better believe that I knew that Sean was going to win the, season of the, Bachelorette, or the last season of The Bachelorette. And I knew that Chloe and Lamar weren't going to make it. <laughs> so I created my own fantasy sports platform that could be used for TV shows. And we started with the challenge. So instead of drafting football players, we drafted characters from the show. And we devised our own point system. So we gave points for things like winning challenges, getting in fights, and getting kicked off the show. <laughs> now, we've had leagues for all types on our site. We've had over 4,000 fantasy leagues created, and over 80,000 people have participated in our platform. <laughs> now, in January of this year, we got an email from MTV. They had noticed what we had grown organically, and they wanted to partner with us to use our platform directly on their site. <laughs> now, let let me introduce you to Fantasizer. Fantasizer is a fantasy sports platform that takes the basic mechanics of fantasy football and applies it to everything else. So when a studio comes to us, we help them to create a league tailored to their content. So for The Bachelor, you get five points when your player kisses The Bachelor or gets in a cat fight. We provide tools so fans of the show can talk about the content and the, the studio can interact with them as well. And we have a user data analytics engine which provides audience insights. So we know which, which characters are liked and which ones are disliked and we provide that back to the studios. Now, we have shows like The Bachelorette, American Ninja Warrior, and Big Brother, and we found that 75% of the people who register come back to check their scores week to week. Now, this stickiness allowed us to take it directly to the networks. So MTV, right now, is using Fantasizer to boost fan engagement throughout the week. So instead of just interacting when the show airs, fans now interact two to three times when they pick their teams and when they check their scores. And our fantasy league has become an integral part of the on-air content. They display our leaderboard at the end of every episode. And the Fantasizer platform allows the show to create these fantasy highlights, which they distribute on social media. It, we have lip readers in the room? So I'm happy to announce that we've landed our second major show. We are now the official fantasy league for ABC's BattleBots. So fans of the show can now go to abc.com to pick their teams and play along. And it's not too late to pick a team for this week's episode on Thursday. And the game works a little bit like this. Before each episode, you pick your team of bots. Then you watch how they score points during the episode. And then you come back to see how your team stacked up against team all, teams all around the country. And at the end of the season, a prize is given out by ABC. Now you can find our integration also at battlebots.com fantasy which, due to our engagement, is now the most visited page on their website. So we have a great team to take this to the market. I've been working in the entertainment industry for nine years, and as a former Accenture consultant, I've worked at five of the six major studios. So I know firsthand how fan engagement is a top problem they're trying to solve. And my partner spent 10 years developing products at leading Silicon Valley startups. Now, while we've seen great traction in the media space, the Fantasizer platform is also used in other verticals for things like employee competitions and other niche sports like roller derby and CrossFit. Now, our organic growth has shown an unmet demand. Hundreds of leagues have been created for things that we never jumped of ourselves. For example, we recently hosted the U.S. Fantasy Barista Championships. <laughs> so the, the studios have multi-million dollar budgets to engage their audiences. And we're well positioned to capture it from networks all around the world. The future of TV is engagement, and we create that next level water cooler to bridge the gap between content owner and fan. I'm Dan, and if you want to learn more about how we're changing entertainment, come talk to me after. Thank you. <laughs>